Oh, let's just go ahead and take it over to the geometry arena. All right? Typically in geometry, what you need to do is you need to have some sort of drawing, usually, so you can tell what's going on. So let's take this one. Given measurement of angle 1 equals measurement of angle 2. Now I'm going to stack my givens. Measurement of angle 2 equals measurement of angle 3. Prove measurement of angle 1 equals measurement of angle 3. Okay? So I've got statements and reasons. Alright? Now let's draw us a little picture here. a little picture here. Here's angle 1, here's angle 2, and here's angle 3. Got a statement that tells us that angle 1, the measurement of angle 1, is the measurement of angle 2. They're equal. And they say that the measurement of angle 2 equals the measurement of angle 3. And they want us to come in and say, oh, okay, tell us why that works. Let's go. Number one, what's going to be first? Measurement of angle one equals measurement of angle two. Why? Yep. Given. Statement number two. Measurement of angle two equals measurement of angle three. Two. Why? Again, given. Statement number three. One of the properties. Therefore, measurement of angle 1 equals measurement of angle 3. Why? Transitive. And we're done. Okay? Just simply using the transitive property to let us know what's going on. Now, if they had not given us this right here, how could we have said this? How could we have said this right here if they had not given us that? Those are vertical angles, aren't they? So another reason for 2 and 3 is also they're given, so we don't have to prove it except just they told us. But one way that we know that angle 2 and angle 3 are equal is because of the vertical angle possible. Okay? Good old VAP. Vertical angle possible. Alright? Okay. Let's do another one. <clears throat> one thing I really like about the videos is I don't have to leave them up here. Y'all can stop it, take a picture of it, do what you need to. Alright. Another one. Okay. Well, let's see if we can find us another one here. Um,
let's make one up. Given angle one and angle two are a linear pair. Second, angle one, measurement of angle one equals measurement of angle three. Prove measurement of angle two equals measurement of angle four. Okay, let's draw a picture. Let's put another given here. Measurement of angle, let's just say this. Angle three and angle four are supplementary. Okay? So we have Angle one and angle two are a linear pair. That's one given. Angle two and ang angle three and angle four are supplementary. That's the second given. Third, we know that the measurement of angle one equals the measurement of angle three. So we know this and this. Now prove that the measurement of angle two equals the measurement of angle four. Okay. Well, let's see what we can come up with. Here, we're going to have statements over here, and have reasons over here. What's our first statement? Number one, angle one, angle two, linear pair. What's the reason for number one? They gave it to us. They told me so. Statement number two, angle three, angle four, supplementary. Why? Given. Statement number three, measurement of angle one equals measurement of angle three. Three. Given. Ready? Statement number four. Let's take it off of our given. Angle one, angle two are supplementary. Why? Definition linear pair. Statement number five, measurement of angle one plus measurement of angle two equals 180. Five, definition, supplementary. Number six, measurement of angle three plus measurement of angle four equals 180. Definition. Supplementary. Number seven. Measurement of angle one plus measurement of angle two equals measurement of angle three plus measurement of angle four. Seven. Substitution. Simply substituted, they both equal 180. So if this equals 180 and this equals 180, I can substitute this for the 180 up there. Okay? Number eight. Oh, angle one equals angle three. 
so what can I put right here? Measurement of angle 1 plus measurement of angle 2 equals measurement of angle 1 plus measurement of angle 4. 8. Substitution. Watch out. 9. Measurement of angle 1 plus measurement of angle 2 minus measurement of angle 1 equals measurement of angle 1 plus measurement of angle 4 minus measurement of angle 1. 9. Subtraction. What do you think I'm going to do next? That goes away and that goes away. Measurement angle 2 equals measurement of angle 4. Okay? Quite enough done, QED. So here what we've done is we've combined geometric capabilities and characteristics with our algebra characteristics and properties to come up with a proof proving that angle 2 and angle 4 have to be equal. And then we could also say, we could have come down here and say, prove that angle 2 is congruent to angle 4. Why? We can simply make that statement definition of congruency. Okay? Given, given, given. What can we say because of this? Well, they're also supplementary. Well, that's the definition of linear pair. What can we say here? And then because of that, we can say that the measurements of those two are equal to 180. Why? Because it's the definition of supplementary. You have to know definitions. What did I say about definitions? They're so important in geometry. If you don't know the definitions, you don't know how to prove things. You have to know the exact definitions. Linear pair, adjacent and Supplementary. What's the definition of supplementary? Two angles added together equal 180. Okay? Same thing here, definition of supplementary. Then we go back to, go to algebra. Oh wow, we can take things and substitute them if they're equal to each other. Just substitution, substitution. Oh, then we can invoke the subtraction property. And then the substitution property. Proof. Okay, welcome to formal proofs. You're going to be doing these the rest of the year. Honors classes, you'll be doing these uh, a whole lot. Regular classes, you're going to be getting used to them. So, study them. Uh, get ready. Occasionally, we'll have a pop quiz. I'll just pull out a form, proof form. Have you pull out your theorem list and postulate list and say, please prove one of the following theorems. If you have your positive theorem list, it'd be a simple, simple matter for you just to pull it out, look at it, and to write it down and prove it.